Nuclear power is back on the table, and a next generation of reactors is ready to meet the demand. Lawmakers in Washington state say the technology is critical to hitting climate goals. But there is opposition, with many voices arguing building a nuclear plant would do more harm than good. Here's what's happening. The state's governor and Democratic lawmakers have proposed building a $25 million facility they say would generate enough energy to power about a million homes. The International Atomic Energy Agency is on board with the concept. They say this type of nuclear technology will provide people with low carbon electricity. That's thanks to the next generation reactor, producing less waste than any previous version of the technology. However, environmental groups like Columbia Riverkeeper aren't sold on the plan. Their policy director calls nuclear power too costly, too dirty, and too late to be part of the solution to climate change. The group is pushing back against the IAEA's assertion that this reactor will produce less nuclear waste than previous models. They say when compared to older nuclear designs, it could create as much as 30 times more radioactive waste. These contaminated materials will retain the radioactive state for thousands of years, even after they've been disposed of. Native American groups are echoing those concerns. Tribal leaders argue sourcing uranium could require mining on their lands. About half of the uranium reserves in the U.S. are located on Native American reservations. Mining for this material can be environmentally harmful to the surrounding area, kicking up radioactive dust, polluting the air and water. Ultimately, the next move is in the hands of Governor Jay Inslee. He's reaffirmed a commitment to this initiative, even as some of his constituents continue to push for a veto. While the safety of nuclear energy is part of this debate, it's important to note Washington already gets about 10% of its energy from a plant that's been operating for nearly 40 years in the state.